Do you know, I mean, I think people come on to promote stuff. Yeah. And they say how marvellous it is and how proud they are. I genuinely am. I'm really excited about this. So you're not the judge in it. What's no, your no, role no. in it? No, no, no. I take the viewer on the journey and huh. you at home are the jury. And it's based on a real murder case, don't look it up, okay. that happened in America some time ago oh. and we projected it, transposed it into a real British oh. court. And the director, Vicky Thomas, who directed it, yeah. made sure that it was shot in real time. So the supporting actors, the extras, were guessing the whole time what wow. happened. Oh. I have to say, I came onto the set and I was absolutely mesmerised. It is 100% authentic. It has that kind of Dr Foster-esque quality where mm. you will not know what happened until the last minute. Mm. My job is to introduce the case and also to, from my experience of doing really serious cases, is to remind you at home about how to treat the evidence because mm. the first episode on Friday is the prosecution bringing its case and it's for the prosecution to prove their case. So we have handwriting experts, experts about poison and I talk through some of my experiences from my trials yeah. and I remind you at home what you may think of it but I have to tell you it's quite a thriller and mm. even though I watched it yeah. I knew kind of what happened in the original case yeah. you'll find out in the second episode the following week whether you were right or not. And so you only hear the prosecution case first, and then you've got several days thinking about all the prosecution before... Just like a real... Just like yeah. it happens in real, yeah. Exactly, so and, that's and the, the point, yeah. And the jury aren't um, actors. They are normal members of the public, and they have to go away and deliberate like no. a normal so jury they would? No, so they are there. They will deliver the verdict for... Right. They will deliver the verdict, which is the same verdict, in fact, that the original okay. trial came up with. Oh. But here's the thing, you at home will be able to discuss on social yeah. media what you think. Oh, I love that. Whether you think it's right or not. One of the interesting things will be examining people's prejudices. Yeah. When you first see the defendant, whether you think he's guilty or not. Yeah. Whether you're persuaded by scientific evidence, which we all know can yeah. be misplaced, wrong yeah. and outdated. Yeah. Ordinary lay people get to determine whether so it's like liar are right. as well, which you thought fine upstanding member of the community and you don't exactly know what's so. fair to say it's moved on a bit from the Crown Court that we remember. Yeah. Yeah. We also... Colin Firth, yeah. Juliet Stevenson, yeah. Sir My dad Kingsley. was in it once. Your dad was yeah. in it? Yeah, yeah. Because I remember I was bunking off school and it was like and I felt literally like my dad could see me through the telly. <laughs> I didn't know he was in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the amazing thing about yeah. it, it was, um, it was a daytime programme. And actually, mm -hmm. interesting there, the public were real members of the public right. and they would decide on the verdict each day. But they were oh, great they? plays. Yeah, oh, yeah I and mean, it was quite extraordinary. I didn't know that. But you know, it was a, a quality drama, over 800 yeah. episodes. Yeah. So it's the first chance to bring it up, with a, bring it back with a, I have to a say, a twist. real dramatic pizzazz. Yeah. So I watched the first episode, because you're part of something, you sort of see it being filmed. Yeah. And then you go away and they deliver it back to you. And I was sitting, even yeah. though I knew the outcome, yeah. going... Why, oh, why do we all love courtroom dramas? Why do we like that? I mean, I'm absolutely fixated on them. And murder trials, and it sounds gory, but you really There's are. nothing as fascinating as the human condition yes. and what drives us, though. And we it? always have been. This is like a, not yeah. a new thing. I always ask this question. It's not a new thing. I mean, you go back, as no doubt everybody does, each night and reads their Herodotus and that sort of thing. Oh. You know, ancient <laughs> Greece. All the time. Are you supposed to read to Herodotus? No, the point is... You <laughs> well, I haven't been reading it. It you to sleep, don't you know? No, <laughs> you know, it sounds like a medical the condition. Point is, from yeah. the early human condition, we always been fascinated mm. about human behavior yeah, and at yeah. the extreme end asking really fundamental questions about mm. what it means to be a human could mm. you do that yeah. mm. would you behave yeah, but it's also way? fundamentally a good story sure but yeah. puzzle solving yeah. as well yeah. 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 and one of the interesting things nowadays in modern trials when i first started it used to be a lot about you know the human witness eyewitnesses that sort of thing yeah. these days especially in the last 15 years technology has evolved to such an extent that it's all about DNA. Yeah, it's yeah. all about, of course, computers. And, of course, the massive change has been mobile phone evidence. Yes. Yeah. So I remember the first murder trial I did as we could see somebody moving through cell site traffic from one place to another, and it felt yeah. like magic at the time. Wow. Well, that's yes. how they got Bin Laden, actually. Yeah. Um, mobile, mobile phone, phone. sort of traffic. But now, listen, there's some, it, some things... We're not that, doing that trial. That, com <laughs> that computers... <laughs> so, so com 